Hello, today we're going to be talking about body language. Now what is body language? Body language is a non-verbal way that we communicate to others the way we feel. We can do this with our posture, we can do this with our facial expressions or any other gestures that we can use with our body, or we can do this with our eyes. Now, these messages or cues that we send off to other people are interpreted by others subconsciously, mostly, sometimes consciously, as a way that we are feeling or a way that we are thinking. Usually, these gestures, these movements, these actions are reflexive. We do them without thinking. However, the other person interprets them to mean how we are feeling. Now, body language can be either positive or negative. Today we're going to be looking at negative body language in the context of a job interview because that's the one that you have to look out for because positive body language looks something like this. Whereas negative body language could look something like this. So today we're going to look at negative body language. I hope it helps. Avi, why don't you tell me a little bit about your last job? Um, my last job, I was doing technical support and I was helping people uh, fix, fix their computers. And how long did you do that for? Um, I did that for about five years. Avoiding eye contact. Sometimes people do this because they are shy. This is avoiding eye contact. This is eye contact. What Avi was doing was avoiding eye contact. This suggests to the other person that you are evasive, indifferent, insecure, passive, or nervous. So Avi, can you tell me some of the things that you think you can improve on? Um, I, th I think I can get better at organizing my time. Scratching head. That indicates to the other person that you are bewildered. Bewildered or confused. Uh, Abby, can you tell me, have you ever been fired? French five is not. I'm trying to open up a second class. Yes, but it wasn't my fault. Biting the lip. The other person thinks you are nervous or fearful or maybe anxious. I'm looking over your CV. Can you tell me why you've changed jobs twice in the last year? Um, well, there was a problem. I was late sometimes for work and uh, we, I had some disagreements with my boss. So tapping the foot. That indicates that you are nervous. Okay, Avi, regarding the lates, I'm looking over the policy and our policy frowns upon more than two lakes, so that might be a problem okay, for you. Okay, but look, I'm going to be coming in from the North Shore. There's lots of traffic in the morning. It's not always my fault. Folding arms. That indicates that you are angry or defensive, disapproving, or in disagreement. Okay, so normally we would start you at a higher salary, but given your experience, we're going to have to start you at a lower one. Really? Narrowing eyes. This indicates that you are resentful or angry. By the way, um, I should tell you that all of our employees receive a um, free membership. And if you don't take any sick days and you're on time, you get a thousand dollar bonus. Wow! 
raising eyebrows. That indicates that you are in disbelief or you are surprised. Now you might say, but that, that's not a bad thing. It could be if you are supposed to be aware of something. Um, Avi, due to your lack of experience, we're going to have to ask you to take a course. Flaring nostrils. This indicates that you are frustrated. Okay, and can you tell me why you'd like to work here? Well, because I'm kind of broke. Ringing hands. It means that you are anxious or nervous. I'm sorry, Abby, just one minute. I have to take this phone call. Mm -hmm. I see. Shifting in a seat. This makes the other person think that you are restless or that you're bored or apprehensive. Now that you are aware of some of your negative body language, it is important to think about them when you do them. Now with some practice, it is easy to get over these habits. Because in essence, that's what they are. They are habits that can work against you.